For now, let's head over to our Mark McAllister. Mark, we heard many different opinions on this one topic alone. There's also mounting pressure on the premier to release his back to school plan. Yeah, Faiza, everyone wondering and waiting for a decision from either Premier Doug Ford or Education Minister Stephen Lecce on what to do as the clock continues to tick towards September with no official plan for schools yet in place. Some frustrated and angry parents also gathered on the front lawn of Queen's Park today. They're calling for a full-time plan to have kids in school for five days a week this fall. Organizers here are accusing the Ford government of not having a financial plan in place yet or details on safety measures. At this point, the Premier says he's leaning in one direction, but they're still working on it. Families want certainty when they go back to work. Uh, that they're going to be there five days a week. Uh, I've mentioned this to uh, the minister. He's, uh, he understands that people want five days a week and he's working with the boards and making that clear. The reason we have three other areas, God forbid we go the other way and we get a, a second wave of this or a flu season or uh, something goes off the tracks, you have to have a backup plan. Some fallout by a move from the Ford government yesterday after they ousted a caucus member for not voting in favor of Bill 195. Here's a little more information from you. Cambridge MPP Belinda Carajalios called the province's plan to extend or amend the emergency orders under COVID pandemic as it sees fit an unnecessary overreach of government. After voting against the legislation, which did pass, she was kicked out of the Conservative caucus last night. She was having a moment of, of, uh, of integrity there, and of, of principle. Uh, what's really shocking is that 70 other Conservative MPPs didn't have that moment of, uh, of principle. At the end of the day, when the Cabinet caucus make a decision, uh, I go with it. Ironically, I, I was with Belinda, not, not a word. And I, I like Belinda, and I'm sure you ask her, we, we've never had bad words, we get along. But I, I wish her all the best, I really do. It's not an easy decision. Now, this was the last day for the Ontario legislature this summer. Premier Ford taking the time to tout all that his government has done, saying, quote, he's protecting public health, preparing the economic recovery. Critics say more should have been done on the education front, however, as well as long-term care before they finish sitting. They will be back on September 14th.